Welcome to Get Cooking at Maggie's Place. Today I'm making one of the most requested muffins by my friends and family to accompany breakfast. Delicious homemade lemon poppy seed muffins. We're going to start with our dry ingredients which is two and a quarter cups of flour, about a half a cup of sugar, and our poppy seeds and a teaspoon of baking powder. This is one of the easiest muffin recipes I've ever made. It's really, really good. I like to serve this to company for breakfast. We're going to blend that together really well. Make sure we get all our poppy seeds distributed. And there, we'll set that aside and move on to our wet ingredients. For our wet ingredients, I have one egg that I'm just going to lightly whisk up. And I have a quarter cup of butter, a half a stick, our milk, sour cream, and the zest of two small lemons or one large. I just want to give that a whisk, blend them all together. And I also want to add in about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We'll mix that in. Now we're going to add in our wet ingredients to our dry. And I just want to mix this until it is blended. I don't want to over mix this because it will make our muffins tough. And I'm just using a little rubber spatula. That's what I love about this. You don't have to pull out a mixer. You don't need a food processor. It's just really simple and the ingredients are so easy. And also a tip on these poppy seeds. After you open them up, don't put them back in your cupboard. They go bad really quick. So you want to either freeze them or put them in your refrigerator. And there we go. The first thing I want to do is make sure my muffins don't stick. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil into each muffin pan. You could also use butter or you could use a spray oil. It's up to you. I just prefer to use good old basic vegetable oil. And put our batter in and fill it almost to the top. I like to have my muffins to have a top on them because we are going to be putting a really nice sweet glaze over the top of this too. I'm going to finish filling up my little muffin cups and then I'm going to put these into a preheated 350 degree oven and I will check them in about 20 to 25 minutes. Our muffins are hot out of the oven and I'm letting them cool. And while they're cooling, I'm going to make the glaze that goes over the top of them. And I've already added to our pan two tablespoons of lemon juice. And I'm going to add a half a cup of confectioner sugar. And I have this on low heat. And I just want to dissolve the sugar. I also want to add some more lemon zest. And I just love these handheld graters. It's so easy. You just rub the lemon across it. And voila! Isn't that great? You want to be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to get the white part. You just want the pretty yellow part that has all the delicious lemon flavor and the oils in it really does well with this uh, glaze to put over your muffins. And another little trick too that I realized I kept thinking wow this doesn't really grate a whole lot until turn it over. On the other side you have all that zest. Just stir this. It looks like we're getting the lumps from the sugar out. They're all melting in. And now we'll glaze our muffins. Aren't these just beautiful? 
They have a very light golden color on the top. The poppy seed is shining right through. And 25 minutes worked perfectly for 350 degrees. And I took a knife and I just poked it into one of them and it came out dry so I knew they were done. And now what I want to do is just add a little glaze over the top of each one. It has the nice oils from the lemon zest, sweetness from the sugar, and this is optional. If you don't like it this sweet, then that's fine. You just go ahead and serve them without the glaze or have it as an option. And another thing too, if you want to get some glaze down into the center, you could take a toothpick or a knife and just make a few little holes in there like that and then the glaze will just seep right down in. Isn't that pretty? I would serve these uh, with either some sausage, some eggs, a nice breakfast muffin, some fresh strawberries, some fresh fruit would be delicious too. They make a nice addition especially when you have guests coming. And there we have it. Beautiful lemon poppy seed muffins that took very little prep time, few ingredients, and lots of delicious flavor. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And for this recipe and many more family favorites, please go to maggiesplacecookbook.info.